find ways, find moments, right? I talk all the time about finding five minutes, 10 minutes, no matter how busy your life is for you, right? And for whatever makes you happy, for whatever brings you joy, because none of it is too much. None of it's corny or ridiculous, no matter what anybody else thinks, right? Hello and welcome to Wednesday Woo at 2. I probably sound a little echoey today and you may notice a different background. I have moved up stairs to my new office. I'm still working on some things, so the sound is maybe a little suspect today, but hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, and yay, um, happy summer. Happy still Pride Month. Um, I'm so excited, again, that Mercury is out of retrograde because it really was killing me. Just so you know, there is a two-week shadow period that happens afterwards, so we're not totally out of the woods yet, but oh, we should be able to start moving beyond crazy communications and into, yay, cancer season. Um, we're officially in the watery emotional time of cancer season which you know i mean has its downsides but um also has its really positive sides i'm a cancer y'all love me that's why you're here so um yay so i'm excited about that so welcome back um i wanted to say that if you didn't get a chance to watch me along with the magical cartographers last night we had a really, really, really amazing talk about showing up in your authenticity. We got a little emotional, but that's what happens when you show up authentically. That's what happens when you're in cancer season as well. Um, so if you didn't get a chance to watch last night, make sure to um, go to my page and, and watch it. You won't be sorry. Um, let's see. So today, um, because it's summertime, because it's still Pride Month, because there's a lot of heavy conversations that um, happen all the time. I just wanted to really focus today. I, I want to make sure that we're still going on. Okay. Um, I just really want to focus today on talking about um, doing the fun stuff. Right, so doing stuff that you love is very important. Um, doing stuff that you love for your business, that you're building something to bring joy, to bring happiness into your world. Like that's such a key component of if you're building a business, right? Um, but even in your personal life, it's so important to start really focusing on the joy in your life. Like what are you doing that is just fun? It doesn't have to mean something bigger. It doesn't have to change the world every day, right? But what if you spent some time just doing things that you really love doing, right? So if you saw um, the post from today, um, there were pictures of some of my favorite things, right? So one of them is karaoke. I love karaoke. I'm not a great singer, but to me, that's who karaoke singers um, that's what karaoke was meant for, was for, for those of us who are not going to get a record contract, right? So when I'm able to be with friends and just sing my little heart out like I'm with Houston, it makes me feel so good, so happy, so filled with joy, right? Um, the other picture, the next picture was when I finally made it to an Adele concert after a long season of trying to find tickets was a whole journey. Um, and again, there is something about her music that really touches me. And I'm not a big fangirl of anything or a person except for Adele. I mean, I actually named my dog Adele. So you know that it's serious. Um, and the third thing was that I'm a Trekkie. I love Star Trek. I've always loved um, watching Star Trek, and some people think it's kind of corny or 
whatever. I don't give a crap, right? It's something that makes me happy. It makes me think. It makes me see the world differently. Um, again, I started watching when I was a kid. And again, all those things, me being a fan or participating in those activities, none of those things are necessarily going to change the world, right? But they're things that change me. They're things that bring me joy, that bring me happiness. And again, what if you did more of those things, right? What is stopping you from doing more things that bring you joy? Not, not, exclusively not okay i'm not going to work i'm just going to do things that feel good i'm not going to you know this bed feels really good i'm never going to get out of it i don't mean it like that but really taking the time right we talk a lot about time and, and not having the time and you know but we do we have to make time for ourselves if we're going to show up in the world right which is the goal we're going to make choices to show up who we are, try to live more authentically. If we're going to do that, it's only going to work. It's only going to be sustainable if we're finding ways to find joy, to incorporate joy into what we're doing, right? Until you can weave it into your business or your career or Find ways, find moments, right? I talk all the time about finding five minutes, 10 minutes, no matter how busy your life is for you, right? And for whatever makes you happy, for whatever brings you joy, because none of it is too much. None of it's corny or ridiculous, no matter what anybody else thinks, right? So I'd love to hear from you. Um, and you can message me, you can put something in here. I'd love, I love hearing about what brings you joy, what makes you happy, right? Yesterday, I uh, went to the uh, regional. Um, I'm here in Charlotte, North Carolina, um, but now the LGBT Chamber of Commerce here is a regional chamber. And every year um, we have put on, well, I'm not currently on the board anymore, but I, they're still part of me. So I say we, we, um, have an event every year together with the Latin Chamber, the Black Chamber, the Asian Chamber, um, where all of the chamber members, we all just get together, right? Because we are one family together, right? And we just celebrate. It's just a time to celebrate, to honor each other, to recognize one another. And especially after COVID, obviously it didn't happen last year, but especially after COVID, having an opportunity to get back out, to get back together with people, to show up and have this space. And we talked about it on last night's talk with the magical cartographers, having this opportunity to show up authentically, right? To show up as who you are and know that you are in a safe space. Know that you are around, you know, some like-minded folks, right? At, at least as far as living in a very authentic way. And it looks like I'm frozen on my camera, but I can't tell. Oh, okay. Hopefully it's working again. I was just saying, in case I got cut off, being able to show up somewhere authentically, showing up in all of who you are, Right. And not knowing that you're not only not going to be judged for it, but knowing that. Knowing that the people who are there, the people who are around are there to support you, are there to, to love you for who you are. Right. And all those things are so joyous. Right. So I really do. I want to hear from you what you can be doing to bring more joy into your life into your personal life, your professional life, because it's going to change the game for you if you're not making time for it right now. Even if it's five minutes a day, right? Doing something silly, crazy, whatever makes you laugh and smile and fills your heart, let's do more of that, right? So, I mean, I could go on and on about the importance of that, but that would be keeping you from going out and doing something that feels joyful, right? So before I go, I am going to 
um, I'll put it in the chat as well, but I'm going to remind you, um, and I, I'm actually going to be recording some responses um, today. Normally Wednesdays, I get a chance to record them, but um, this is the opportunity for you. These two minute tarots are a way for you to ask a question. You get to ask me a question. I'll pull one card for you and I'll give you a short two minute video with a little bit of information. And if you want to connect more and talk more, then we can do that. If you don't, there's no obligation, right? It's it's really just an opportunity for you to start checking in with your intuition, to start checking in around the choices that you need to make, right? And to really start to move forward, to really start to move towards this life that you really want. And it's time. It's time for us to be creating things that we want, not just that we need, right? We have to start moving beyond just sustaining and maintaining ourselves to how can I start growing more and more every day? So I'd love for you to send me your questions right here at Two Minute Tarot. There's a link in the chat. Um, you can send it whenever and um, stay connected. Let me know. Like I said, let me know how you are expanding, how you are finding joy and I can't wait to hear it. You guys have been amazing about sharing with me this Pride Month, all the things that you're super proud about. I love seeing them. So um, I'll show you some more of the office once I get things back together. And thank you so much for loving me, for supporting me, for always showing up. I really appreciate y'all. There's so much goodness that's coming up. Um, make sure for these lives, make sure that you are in the WTF with Mel Facebook group because um, next week, next Wednesday, the end of the month is gonna be the last live that is um, also posted on, on the page. So make sure you're over in the group so you don't miss out. Um, next week also is um, a card party. And if you haven't seen the card party before, um, it's kind of like, hey Wanda, it's kind of like these two minute tarots, only a little bit more interactive because you're online. You ask your questions, I will pull a card for you, and um, we'll have a little bit of an opportunity to go back and forth. So I would love to do that for you. That's gonna be next Wednesday, right here at two o'clock. Um, so if you wanna submit any questions early, you absolutely can do that. Um, and, or if you wanna bring your questions on the call, you're, you're welcome to do that too. So thanks for being here again. Like I said, go out and enjoy yourself. Find something that makes you super happy today. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Stay magical.